Okay, so let's try to do this one. Um, so you can see here, hopefully, what kind of um, molecule do we have here, like functionality-wise? An ether. And what are we making here? What is this? Alcohol, Alcohol or phenol. And uh, alkyl halide. Okay, so how do we take an ether and make an alcohol and an alkyl halide? Okay, so we're going to draw the mechanism. So what do we want to do when we draw the mechanism? Erase everything that's not important, right? So we got to remember where we're going. So don't forget that. What does this little triangle mean here? Yeah, it's going to, we got to heat this stuff up, okay? And I'm actually going to erase the HBr so I can really emphasize that bond in between the H and the Br. I also like to write my lone pairs, like I always say, you know, so I can remember where the reactive portions of these molecules are. So I'm going to also draw my lone pair over here. So this, of course, is a strong acid, right? So this is going to act as the what? The base. Very good. Okay, so the base deprotonates the acid. Make sure your arrows are going the right way. Okay, by now, I hope that you can get your arrows correct. Okay, so we'll do that. So draw what you think the product is. Don't wait for me to draw it. You draw it and see if you get it right. Okay, so hopefully you drew something that looks like that. Did everybody get to there? Okay, good. Did you get that, Yapu? You didn't have time? Okay. Okay, so what's going to happen next? Can anybody tell me? So this is, if we look here, if we cross, kind of cover that, uh, what compound does that look like? Phenol, right? Is that a stable compound on its own? Yes. Yeah, so it's a, it would be a good leading group then. So what do you think is going to happen? What reaction? SN1. Not SN1, because if it was an SN1, you'd be making a primary carbocation, right? And you can't do that. So it's going to be a what? It's an SN2 reaction. Everybody should be saying instead of that. So we're going to have the nucleophile attack that carbon right there. Those electrons are going to go to that oxygen there. Remember, this is a good leaving group here. Whenever you can see that good leaving group and it's got a positive charge on it, you know, that's going to leave as like an SN1 or an SN2, okay? So the reason this had to be an SN2 is because it's on the primary carbon. So when we do that, of course, we're going to make phenol, like we've been saying, like that. And the other thing we're going to make is right, bromoethyl. Okay, so that's the product mixture there. So no other steps. Any questions on this one?